the 2011 local government elections brought to you live and clear by the SABC. Good afternoon. National Police Commissioner General Beckett Kale says 41 hotspots have been identified in Mpumalanga where more police will be deployed during next week's local government elections. He's in Secunda to outline the provincial policing plans for voting stations next Wednesday. He says those areas in the province that experience service delivery demonstrations will be subject to tight security. Fuzi Twala reports. The Mpumalanga province is among the several provinces which experienced protests in the country. Residents complained about poor service delivery and change of candidate list. However, the National Police Commissioner General Peggy Kele says there will be no interruptions during the elections period. He says more police will be deployed from national to assist in the province. The commissioner has also urged the residents to behave. I'm Busi Chwala for SAPC News. One of the smaller political parties in Mpumalanga, the Social Civic Movement, says it's concerned about the high unemployment rate in Balfour. It says most of the people employed by the local gold mine are not from local areas. The movement's chairperson, Dumisani Zwane. If I were to just give statistics of people who are from the Palisang who are working there, they will be below 15%. And that is against the commitment that was made by the mine when it was doing consultation meetings that when it starts operating, it will employ 80% of the, the locals and then only import 20% of the skilled uh, miners from outside areas. ANC Youth League President Julius Malem has taken his election campaign to the DA-led Midval municipality south of Joburg. The municipality has seen high-profile visits from ANC leaders. Malem has met members of the community in the area and is expected to address a rally later today. What uh, we are telling our people here is that uh, they are their own uh, liberators. And uh, if they continue to vote for DA, it means they are continue to vote for uh, apartheid and uh, divisions. And I think our people have had enough. Uh, this time around, they will not commit the similar mistake they committed. We are more than confident that they will reclaim this place because we believe the ANC should be able to govern everywhere. The Human Rights Commission is in the process of finalising the report into the open toilets in the ANC-controlled Mukaka municipality in the Free State. DA spokesperson Lindiwe Mazibuko says Human Rights Commissioner Prega Reddy has confirmed that the report will be released soon. The Commission's legal committee met on Monday to discuss the report after the DA launched a complaint with the Commission about 1,600 unenclosed toilets at Ramolotsi Township in Fulyunskroon. The municipality built the toilets in 2003. Gender advocacy groups have appealed to candidates in the upcoming local government elections to take women issues into consideration once elected. This after it emerged that only 37% of nominated party candidates were women. Lisa Vetton is from the Swaranang Advocacy Group. We take housing, for example. Sometimes it happens that in order to cut costs in public housing, public housing is built with only one door. And as women point out, if you're in an abusive relationship, very often your abusive partner, if they've locked that door, you cannot escape. You are now trapped in that house with man because there's no back door for you to get out of. So I think because now if you're bringing in women's experiences around that, you start to think, well, we can't just be giving contracts to people who are going to design houses with only one door. The top story, the National Police Commissioner General Beckett Kele says 41 hotspots have been identified in Mpumalanga where more police will be deployed during next week's local government elections. SAFM News. This elections update was brought to you by SABC News.